Hi, I'm Bob Brinkman, coordinator of the Historical Markers Program at the Texas Historical Commission. Today we're going to show you how to repaint an official Texas historical marker. We're here at Carl Cemetery, southeast of Austin, and today we're going to repaint the Dr. Jacob Talley Wilhite marker from 1991 that you can see is faded from the sun. We're going to go over the list of supplies that you'll need for refinishing this marker. We got all this at the hardware store for under $80 and you can get several uses out of it. You'll need a stiff wire brush, a soft bristle brush, a spray bottle or bucket of clear water, detergent soap, shop towels or cotton rags, black lacquer high temperature spray paint, clear lacquer, lacquer thinner, and painter's mat, a hand sanding block or a power sander, 80 grit and 120 grit sandpaper, and two inch blue painter's masking tape. You can also find all of this information and the supply list on the Texas Historical Commission website. Step one, you use your wire brush to remove flaking and debris from the marker. You always want to use a side to side motion. Step two, use your soft bristle brush to remove the dust and the fine debris. If you have a portable air compressor, you could also use that for this step. Step three, clean the marker thoroughly with soapy water, and when you're done, towel it dry and let it dry completely in the sun. Step four, apply your two inch painter's tape all the way around the border and the bottom. If your marker is on a historic building or something else you don't want to paint, then be sure to put lots of paper or poster board around the marker. When we finished taping, we've made sure that all the silver edges are covered up because of possible overspray. So for step five, you take your black lacquer paint and put on two coats. And make sure to use your painter's mask for this and then wait for the paint to completely dry. Now for step six, you take your lacquer thinner and your rags, and you're going to remove the paint from the medallion and the title area. Be sure not to touch the surface beneath that. Okay, we're ready for step seven. We've removed the black lacquer from the medallion and the title, and we've taken the blue tape off. Now you're going to use your sanding block with 80 grit paper for the rest of the inscription, and you can also use 120 grit for the border. All right, we finish our sanding, and that brings us to step eight, where we remove some debris with our soft brush again. Step nine, take your clear lacquer spray and put two coats across the entire marker. And step 10 is to step back and admire your work. We're finished with this one, and there's only 15,000 plus historical markers in Texas, so let's get out there and paint some more. Thanks.